Tony Stark's alcoholism secretly returned to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as she Hulk. Attorney at law hints at his struggles even after Disney changed Iron Man. Although Tony Stark died in Avengers, Endgame and has not returned in Phase 4, Marvel Studios has still found ways to alter his MCU story. This includes learning that Tony Stark was a lousy boss, that there was another way to defeat Thanos, and that he even saw a glimpse of the multiverse. The MCU's latest Iron Man change retcons one of the first decisions made after Disney's acquisition of Marvel Studios. Audiences had already seen the genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist four times by the time Disney bought Marvel. However, his return in Iron Man 3 is where the MCU's Tony Stark started to change in some notable ways. While he was still a genius, billionaire, and philanthropist, Disney largely wiped away Iron Man's playboy status. This included settling into a relationship with Pepper Potts and ditching the partying scene he was regularly part of. Iron Man's main focus was on doing everything he could to protect the planet and those he loved. One of the ways Disney made this possible was by forgetting about Tony Stark's alcoholism. The MCU has now retconned Disney's Iron Man change by revealing that Tony's drinking problem was still an issue during Phase 3. She-Hulk Episode 1 reveals that Tony and Bruce Banner built a Mexico lab and bar during the blip. Smart Hulk remarks that beyond funding the build, Tony was not very helpful in actually making the bar for two reasons. According to Bruce, he was busy complaining about Steve Rogers, but the real reason he was not helpful was that Tony was drinking a lot. The She-Hulk reveal indicates that Iron Man's struggles with alcohol returned during the blip and after losing to Thanos.